The country's media mouthpiece, Rodong Sinmun, used the example of Kim Il-sung giving aid to Africa in a seeming attempt to counter the initiative from the U.S. to turn the continent against Kim Jong-un. It said President Kim Il-sung gave unsparing material and spiritual assistance to African nations who struggled to build a new society. At that time, the North were by no means richer or more abundant than other nations when we made the aid. Our people offered a slew of food and relief goods to poverty and hunger-stricken African people by tightening their own belts. Getty North Korea has responded to U.S. calls for African isolation against the Hermit Kingdom. The newspaper then detailed a number of factories, farms and infrastructure it believes was built with the help of aid from the Hermit Kingdom. The publication appears to be a direct counter to recent calls from U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson who recently urged African nations to play an increasing role in an initiative to isolate the Hermit Kingdom in an attempt to force it to disarm and halt its pursuit of nuclear weapons. Mr. Tillerson's renewed calls came after North Korean weapons were seized on board Iranian smuggling ships en route to Somalia. North Korea has repeatedly taken part in a series of illegal activities to fund its nuclear and missile programs. Wednesday, November 22, 2017 and North Korean Korean People's Army KPA defector driving along a road leading to the truce village of Panmunjom speaking at a meeting with his counterparts from some 30 African countries, Mr. Tillerson said the DPRK presents a threat to all of our nations. Everyone, including each country represented here today, must play a part in this peaceful pressure campaign to convince the DPRK that the only way to achieve true security and respect from the international community is to abandon its current path and choose a meaningful dialogue about a different future. I urge you to take additional measures to pressure the DPRK by downgrading your diplomatic relationships with the regime, severing economic ties, expelling all DPRK laborers, and reducing North Korea's presence in your country in all other ways it may be found. It is believed that the weapons discovered on their way to Somalia earlier this week were sent by Iran in an attempt to arm militants fighting in Somalia. The ships were intercepted in the Arabian Sea by a French vessel. It is understood that the intercepted Type 73 machine guns were manufactured in North Korea before being sold to Iran between 1970 and 1980. This follows another weapons seizure from the Hermit Kingdom last month when a huge supply of weapons was discovered in Egypt. More than 30,000 rocket-propelled grenades discovered on board the freighter named the Gia Shun which the Hermit Kingdom had decorated with deceptive Cambodian colors. Despot leader Kim Jong-un's cargo was stopped in its tracks when the U.S. warned Cairo about the incoming ship. Getai Rex Tillerson has emphasized the need for greater North Korean sanctions An investigation launched by the United Nations found that Pyongyang had good relations with Egyptian business executives who had ordered millions of dollars worth of North Korean weaponry. The monumental weapons supply was disguised under bins of iron ore that were used as a front for the hugely destructive delivery. Last month, Rex Tillerson praised political partners to the U.S. from across the globe for helping to deliver the toughest U.N. sanctions to date on North Korea. Getty North Korea has repeatedly taken part in a series of illegal activities to fund military efforts. She added countries must increasingly decide whether they will do business with North Korea or with a community of peace-loving nations. North Korea was incredibly high on the agenda for Donald Trump during his recent tour of Asia where he emphasized his isolation initiative to several world leaders. The Republican firebrand has attempted to persuade China to cut off all ties with despot leader Kim Jong-un. The nation is the country's biggest supplier and ally.